This is day two. We're about uh, six, seven minutes into it. It's a real cold morning. It was pretty spooky to start with. Kind of jumped around a little. He's fairly easy to catch. <coughs> but he's just going right directly to saddling him. He's done just a little bit of groundwork, kind of get him to let down some. He's going to do, he's going to get him settled, and then that's where he'll do most of his groundwork. He was real good about the cinch last time, the first time. So, but he just reached under and got it with his hand this time rather than using rope to fish it up. <coughs> Again, he's showing that try. He's super tight, there's no question about that. But he is trying. But one of the things Buddy has going for him when, when he works with these tougher kind of colts is he doesn't let them think they're tough at all. There's just another horse in his mind. So he has a lot of confidence and that comes through to the colt. Or somebody else that might not be so confident and sure about what they're doing might approach the horse with being unsure. With a horse like that, that's a recipe for a wreck. <coughs> he will go ahead and use his rope to fish up the back cinch. Mulberry's hanging in pretty darn good here, see. He's moving that breast collar around to make sure it isn't a spook. He's picking it up with his right eye. You can see it in the video here. And, uh, and he did it in a way so it doesn't a big surprise when it comes through underneath his neck. He's plenty tight. <laughs> Got those front feet spread apart pretty good there. It's a pretty sharp cold morning here. It'll be interesting when he moves off here, how he gets it, how he does. When either's tight and it's this cold, things can happen. Looking good here. He's real tight as you can see. There again, Buddy's always in a position, see, to support the colt if he has to get in trouble. He kind of left rather abruptly there, but that's all right. See, this kind of groundwork is not like chipping. It's all, every step is with meaning and purpose. There's no mindless meandering going on. But he's pushing, placing every foot. There's the hind quarters. Now there's the front quarters. A little tight. <coughs> he doesn't have to move that fast, but if he wants to, it's okay. <laughs> There's the hindquarters, now you'll bring the front. A little hoppy hop. And yeah, that's a little more effort in it. But that's okay. <laughs> Fastest way to ruin a bucking horse is to get them to move out. Hey, little pup. Hey. 
this tightness I expect to see it last for quite a little bit here before we finally let down. One of the things that he did when he first caught him, he just kind of jumped up on him barebacks, but just leaning over the withers rather than putting his leg across. The little guy just stood there just fine. He was a real tight tent. We'll be cutting this off here in a minute and then restart. <laughs> 